What's up guys? Welcome po to our 17th video tutorial in C. So in this lesson po guys, tatalakayan natin ay tungkol sa array. So huwag nyo nito pansin guys, this is the things that I want to discuss, basic things about array. So yun, ano nga po ba ang array? So array, array guys, we can use array para mag-store tayo ng mga multiple data or multiple values. Kasi di ba? For example, when we declare integer x, isang value lang doon na yung store natin. So, what if kung gusto natin ng marami? So, let's just write muna our basic C program. Then, I'll explain things on the way. Then, di ba guys, um, I have I made pala a simple demonstration about arrays. Ganito lang siya guys. Di ba guys, for example, when we declare integer x is equal to 2, di ba... We can also we can also imagine it like this. Na parang you have a box, then ang tawag sa kanya is x of type integer. Then ang laman niya is two, ba guys? Parang di ba guys? Parang ganyan. So arrays is parang ganon lang naman. Pero parang group, parang multiple, maraming pwedeng lagyan. So tandaan yung guys. Eto guys, isa lang to. Isa lang niyan ang, isa lang niyan ang variable name. Pwede, any, any name, pwede, pwede, pwede x ulit, pwede anything guys. The variable name is always up to you. Isa lang niyan na variable name. So, paano nga ba i-declare, paano nga ba mag-declare ng array? So, in array guys, pwede, you can use different data types. Pwede kayong mag-declare ng array sa character, boolean, string, ay, character, boolean, um, in, integer, float, um, ano pa, doubles, long, then, so, yun po, um, for, pero in this lesson, I, I'm going to discuss sa integer lang, kasi, pareho lang naman guys, in other data types, the, the way you write, the way you write, or the way you access things in array, the data, pareho lang naman yan in other data types, so, Yun po. Paano nga ba mag-initialize? So, for example, the syntax is the data type, then the variable name. For example, uh, my array. Then, open and closing bracket. Then, you put the size. For example, 6. Kasi, let's take the example of our demos, our sketch here. Sorry guys, kung hindi kagandahan na. So, yun. Paano kung gusto ko agad initialize? Then, just put the equal. Then, oops. Put the equal, then you put the data. Separated lang by comma. For example, anong nakalagay dito? 10, 2, 4, 11, 21. 10, 2, 4, 11, 21. Diba? Then, tandaan nyo guys, ang una nyo linagay dito is the location 0. So, ano nga ba yun? Tandaan nyo guys, nakita nyo itong 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is what you call, guys, ang tawag dito ay the indexes. So, ano nga bang indexes? In the indexes, guys, they are used for index ang tawag dyan. Ginagamit yan para at least ma-access nyo yung mga data nyo sa loob, sa arrays nyo. So, paano kung, for example, you, you want to change the value of this location in location 2 or index 2. So, you use this, the index, para magamit mo yun. O kaya, you want to print the value of nasa, for example, location 5 or index 5. So, yun guys, you use the index. So, yun po. Um, by the way, initialize what is an array. Check. Initialize, initialize elements to array. So, by the way guys, there's one thing pala you can initialize naman. The what we call the, for example, my array, my array. For example, location 0 is equal to 1. Okay, and you can also initialize like that or you can assign a value to a location of array. Ang ibig sabihin lang naman ito is the my array at location 0. For example, in our case, ito yan, location 0, which is 10, is equal to 1. So, this just means na mapapalitan ng 1 kung ano man yung nasa location niya sa array. So, Pero, I always recommend na ganito ang pag-initialize nyo kasi mapapagod kayo nyo kung isa-isayin nyo pa, ganyan-ganyan, so is equal to 2, blah, blah, blah. So, it's better to initialize arrays like this one. So, and one thing po pala, overflow. Ano nga yan overflow? 
For example, nag-declare ka dito ng 6, tapos, pero, dinagay mo dyan na, sumobra ka, naging 7 or 8, or 8. So, pag, pag dinan natin to, di ba, sinasabi niya, too many initializers for int, for int of size 6. Kasi sumobra, so, yun. So, once na nag-initialize ka, you have to be sure na sakto lang. Walang sobra. Wala rin kulang. Sakto lang. So, yun po guys. Then, always put size of array. Kasi, when you, when you declare or initialize arrays po, always put the size of array. Pero, pwede naman po guys, ganito. What I mean is, always put the size of the array. For example, ganyan. Ayaw nyo mag-initialize tapos, ganyan. Error po yan. Um, kung hindi kayo mag-initialize ng data sa array nyo, you have to put the specific size, for example, 6, then ganyan lang kung ayaw nyo mag-initialize. Kasi, pero kung alisin nyo yan, kung alisin nyo yan, storage of is, isn't ano, so you have to put the size of the array. At saka guys, pero paano kung ganito ulit? So, Pwede to, for example, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. Wala kang linagay na size, pero you've initialized. Pwede po yan, tanggap po yan. So, ano, logically speaking, ano ang magiging size ng array mo? Siyempre, yung kung ilan yung initialize mo. Ilan ba sila? Lima. So, yun lima yung magiging size ng array mo kahit hindi mo siya initialize. So, yun lang naman po, guys. Bawa lang po na hindi nyo lalagyan dito kung at hindi pa kayo mag initialize So, this, ano, pwede to. Pwede to. So, yun po guys. You can comment it out. You can put comments. Ako kasi iaalisin ko na lang. So, yun po. Ah, sana nga tayo. So, yun po guys. And, 10, 2, 4, 11, 21. As I was saying, tana tayo. Check na to. Sorry guys, um, I just, ano kasi sa mga, kailangan kong i-discuss sa inyo, para mga basic stuffs lang. So, print element from array. So, yun na, ito na yung sinasabi ko. Paano kung gusto kong i-print yung value ng 4? Itong 4 na to sa array ko. Tandaan nyo guys, yung pag-declare na natin ganito, you can imagine or you can think of it ang itsura niya is parang ganito na drawing ko na so ayan ganyan lang naman guys ang ano parang you can imagine it na parang ganyan ang itsura niya when you declare or initialize or you make arrays so paano nga kung gusto ko tong i print you just type print f percent i because it's an integer then comma you type the name of the array, parang ganun lang rin sa variable. Pero, you type the open and closing bracket. Then, you, you enter, you type the specific location. Bakit zero? Mali ako. So, anong location siya? Diba guys, as, as I've told you, you use the index for that. So, 0, 1, 2. Anong location siya? 2. So, Location 2. Once we print this, compile pala 4. Diba? Lumabas yung 4. Kasi, print niya, print i, percent i, my array, kung anong value nito, yung, 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 yung specifier, my, my array, then 2. Ito yung index, or yung location niya, which is 0, 1, 2, 4. So, for. So, ganun lang lang po guys. Kasi simple, diba? So, check na to. I hope na intindihan nyo. For example, paano kung gusto kong itong 5 na to? Ay, itong 1. Siyempre, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You will access the location 5. Ganyan. So, once we run this, 1. Diba? Kasi, location 5, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is 1. This is guys the index, tandaan nyo. Paano kung pito to, pito, syempre, dadagdag dyan ng isang box. Imagine nyo lang may isang box dyan. Di syempre, yung index nito is 6. So, yun lang guys, parang dumadagdag lang naman. 
So, yun po. Yun, ganun lang naman po ka simple, di ba? So, simple pag print and simple things about how to initialize in arrays. So, I'll just, oops, I'll just delete this case or comment out ko na lang. So, you guys, I recommend na comment out nyo kasi para at least may babalikan kayo for notes. So, that's for, but for not the least, how to scan, eh, paano na, for example, ganito, let's have a simple program na paano kung gusto kong mag-scan, mag-scan ako ng numbers at ilalagay ko yung numbers na yon sa array at ipiprint natin. So, ganito lang po guys, um, ganito lang. So, for example, let's declare an integer, um, my array, let's um, type the specific size, 20, Yan, kasi we will not initialize. So, then, print. We declare another variable para doon natin store kung ilan bang numbers. For example, num. Yan lang. Then, we print. Put a label. Please enter how many numbers, <coughs> excuse me, you want. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Then, scan f. Ilalagay natin sa variable num. Oops, may kalimutan ako. Then, ganyan. So, then we print again. Please enter your numbers. Then, nalala nyo guys yung for loop. Then, yan na yun. We will use na the for loop to scan multiple data. So, ayun yung sinasabi ko sa inyo nyo guys na mas madaling paraan. For example, um, for example, uh, for i is equal to 0, this is the reason also guys na I want you to always initialize the, this part na palaging 0 kasi especially when you are dealing arrays, the location, as I've told you, sinabi ko na ba? Sina, sinabi ko na ba sa inyo na all arrays, lahat ng array, the indexes always starts with 0. Lahat yan guys, it always starts with 0. So, tanda nyo yan. So, i is less than, ilan ba ang gusto natin i-enter? Um, kasi yun yung the number of kung ilan natin gusto i-enter. Then, i++. plus plus. Then, scan f, percent i, then, percent my array, then i. So, ang tataka yun, namang ibig sabihin ito. So, I'll explain it guys later. Okay? O bakit ko ganyan? I'll explain it later. Don't worry guys. Hinahina lang tayo. Mag-guess nyo to. So, print f after operation for i is equal to 0 is less than num. Don't worry guys. Mag-guess nyo to. I'll explain it later. Basta, guess, para sa akin, guess nyo na Guess nyo na lang naman yung kung ano yung arrays. Guess nyo na, you guys yung for loop, di ba? So, magigess nyo rin yan. So, for example, let's run the program. Then, please enter how many numbers you want. For example, gusto kong mag-enter ng mm, apat lang, apat lang muna. Please enter your numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ano yan? Um, guys, Kung magtataka yun yung gap, yung boxless n lang yan. So, so paano nga ba ito nag-work? Um, so, magtataka yun, ano nga ba ito? O ano ba yan? O ano ba ito? So, it just simply means, guys, na whatever the number we enter, ilalagay niya sa specific location in an array. For example, di ba? For i is equal to 0, tanda niyo yung value ng i. i is equal to 0. i is less than num true, gagawin niya to. So, isascan f niya, ang una natin in-enter is 1. So, isascan f niya, isastore niya sa my array location i. Ano bang value ng i? 0. So, parang you, you store it, yung una natin in-enter, which is 1, at location 0. So, ganun lang naman po guys. Then, once na natapos to, increment, the value of i will be 
ano, 1. Then, i is equal to 1. 1 is less than num. Kasi, in-enter natin dito was 4. Yan yung how many numbers kung ilan na enter natin. So, scan f. Anong yung sunod natin in-enter? It was 2. So, isustore niyo yung 2 sa at my array, location, i. Ano bang, anong i? It was 1. So, isustore niya sa location 1 yung 2. Ganyan. So, increment ulit. Increment. Anong value na i natin? It's 2. So, 2 is less than now. True. So, scan f. Isustore niya sa my, at my array, location i, which is 2. Ano ba yung in-enter natin doon? It was 3. So, ilalagay niya dito is 3. Tandaan niyo guys, itong array na ito, ang pangalan na ito is my array. Yung ito yun, ginawa natin. So, yun. Then, 2. Nag-increment ulit siya. It's now 3. I is equal to 3. Scan f. Ano yung in-enter natin? It was 4. So, ilalagay niya sa location 4. I mean, location 3. Kasi at my array, i. Anong value ng i natin? It was 3. So, ilalagay niya yung 4 na in-enter natin doon. Then, our i na will be equal to 4 kasi natapos na to. mag increment i is equal to 4. Is 4 less than 4? It's false. So, false siya. So, hindi na siya mag-execute tapos ng boom for loop. Then, pupunta na siya dito. Kaya, niya na print after operation. Ito lang naman, guys. Pareho lang naman to yung dito. Ang pinagkaiba lang is, ito, print F niya. Parang print F lang naman. So, basically, guys, the purpose of I in the for loop is, parang we use it para as the location to access the the data in our array. So, yun lang naman po guys, ba? Very simple naman lang po. So, ayo po na intindihan, na intindihan nyo ako. So, magtataka kayo, um, ba 20 ang size nito? So, yes, it's actually 20. 20 yan. You can imagine it as 20. Pero, linagyan lang natin ng apat na data. So, pwede po yan, pwede po. Pwede po. ba actually 20 yan. So, so, ganyan lang po. So, basta, guys, in arrays, pwede kayong, for example, you have a size of 20, pwede kayong maglagay ng, kunwari, lima lang na data, basta wag lang, wag nyong pasobrahan, kung mag, wag mag-overflow. So, yun po, guys, um, I hope po na naintindihan nyo ako. So, ganun lang naman po, ba Basta, pina ang purpose, ang ginagawa nito is, in-store nyo yung in-enter natin na data in the specific array location, in the i location. Then the purpose of i is as the location of our array. Then, ito, pareho lang naman to, print, print f lang. So, thank you po guys for watching this tutorial. If you have questions, just comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.